So if you're wondering how to have an AI voice on stream that repeats whatever your chat box is saying, or how to enable the AI to read the message of whoever is donating to you, this video is perfect for you. Hey guys, it's the Viperian here and welcome back to the channel for another streaming tutorial and this time we'll be going through how I enable AI voiceovers for my messages whenever I'm streaming. So on the screen right now, here's an example of the AI bot repeating whatever my chat box is typing. Okay, I'm now free. LMAO. LMAO. Peach 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 peach. I'm using the worst hovering card. So in today's video, we're gonna do just that. But of course, there are many people that find this annoying or completely unnecessary. So I'm gonna show you how to enable the voice just for donation messages as well. Alright, so first we're gonna start off with the chat box one first. So all you have to do is to head into your Google Chrome or any browser will do and type in speechchat.com. Link will be in the description below. So after you open speechchat.com, all you have to do is to log into Google Drive with your Google account aka your YouTube account. Once you're done, you will be brought into this screen right here and that's actually basically it. What speech chat does is whenever you're live streaming and someone actually talks to your live stream in your chat box, speech chat will automatically convert those texts into voices. What you want to remember to do is to make sure that in your Streamlabs, your desktop audio is always on. As Streamlabs will only pick up the voice of the text when desktop audio is on because speech chat is part of the desktop audio. Okay, now in speech chat, there are actually multiple settings that you must set up first. Head over to the top right, click over speech chat and select the control panel. Head over to voice and enable speech. Make sure that it is on or it will not work. And if you like the example that was shown to you in the previous minute, you can actually head over to preferred voice right here. And there are actually multiple choices. And the one that I personally use is Google UK English Mail. And another important one is under the events tab right here. So under events tab, there are actually four tabs that you can see. There are welcoming, followers, hosting, and subscribers. These four are actually pretty self-explanatory but personally what I like to use is the subscriber basis because I usually stream on YouTube so whenever someone actually subscribes to me on YouTube they will be greeted by their name first and then followed by the message thanks for subscribing. But of course in the end it's up to you on what you want to enable as every stream is different. So another crucial thing that you have to set up is under user group and just make sure that yours is checked exactly the same as mine. This basically tells speech chat which platform to enable the voice under. So for example, on the screen right now, I enable it to all. So whenever I stream on Twitch or YouTube or Mixer, Pitch Chat will work no matter what. So another thing to be concerned about is whether your live stream has actually a automated bot such as a night bot or stream lapse. So for example, I actually have stream bot enabled. What I like to do is to head over to the control panel and under user group and under text only, I would like to add stream lapse and night bot. As night bot and stream lapse usually repeat the same message every time and the message can be sometimes pretty long. So I don't want speech chat to actually repeat those words again and again. So in order for us to tell speech chat to not repeat repeat the messages or rather keep it text only head over to all right here and just add whichever bot that you're using in your live stream that way your viewers will not be annoyed by the voice repeating the message over and over again all right now that's out of the way let's move on to donation messages so adding donation messages shoutouts are actually pretty pretty simple all you have to do is to add the source head over to the alert box and make sure to add that first and then under donations, all you have to do is to click on donor messages on the right side right here. Scroll all the way down and click text to speech enable TTS and just enable it and you're pretty much done. Adding donation messages shoutouts is pretty much a must for every stream as it motivates your viewers to donate as some people just love to tell jokes on their live stream or to grab the attention of the streamer. And that's pretty much it for part 3 of the Streamlabs tutorial. Do consider supporting the channel by subscribing if this video helps you out. Also, if you want to know how to use Streamlabs on your PS4 for free, click on the left here. Or click on the right side for Streamlabs tutorial on widgets such as chatbox, alerts and many more. This is the Viperian signing off and I'll see you in the next video.